How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4. Again, at Abernathy Farm. This time, I'm going to be building a house for Strong. And so, the first thing I'm going to say is I, I went ahead and used the Diamond City Shack. I know it really doesn't fit in with the settlement, but I really like the way that it looks. It's, it's super scrappy, and I don't care if it's a dugout, and it's in the middle of a field now. It, it looks awesome. Uh, I really like the roof. Uh, and it just, I think it, it fits the vibe that I'm going for. So, uh, instead of board, bordering off, uh, not bordering off, boarding up the one side, I went ahead and used a stack of junk cars. And, uh, all I did was place that car on top of this one which I changed my mind, don't know why I thought about using that. I go ahead and use the same car as that bottom one. They just stack easier. Uh, you'll notice that I use Place Anywhere a few times, but not as often as the last build or that you guys will probably ever see me use again because... so. I've had a ton of issues lately on Fallout 4. The game crashes constantly. The uh, I keep losing like footage of me building, or I keep losing um, like gameplay because it keeps crashing. And so I built this build three times so far. That's why I really, I mean, there's not a whole lot of cuts. It's because I didn't really have to think about anything I was doing like I knew exactly what I wanted to do uh, because I had built this three times already the first time I built it was me testing it out uh, I was just kind of building trying to get like an idea of what I wanted to do because I've never built anything like this so it being Strong's uh, house it's kind of different than like just building one for settlers because Strong is a super mutant he is violent and gross, and they live in nasty places. So, that being said, I went ahead and tried to make it the same way. And I did that through decoration, and also I added a jail in the back. Uh, my idea for this, though, kind of an explanation as to why it is that way, is because, uh, or why they allow it. Because, like, I don't know who would want to live near such, like, filth and, like, just, like, a massacred amount of people. Or, like, it requires all these dead bodies for this to be as messy as it ends up being. Uh, I just imagine in my me RPing here uh, that... They just give him pretty much any time they go and deal with uh, anything or if like raiders attack the settlement or if they go someplace to scavenge and then people attack them or whatever or just any time that anyone ends up dying uh, that's not from our settlements, they're just given to Strong because he needs a source of dead people. And, uh, so that was my main thought of where this is all going to come from, because it's got to come from someplace. Uh, also the little jail in the back was an idea, because if you play through the game, like, I don't, I assume that most people who watch my videos have played through the game, but, like, if you ever have to, like, go and do, like, missions for settlements... A lot of times, super mutants like capture people and lock them up. So it happens a lot in the game. So I just went ahead and thought, you know what? Super mutants hold people captive. I'll just build a place for him to do that. And uh, so that's exactly what this is, this back area. Uh, but back to what I was saying a little bit ago before I started talking about the build, because I want to talk about the build a little bit. Place Anywhere is, like, destroying my game. Like, anytime I try to use it now, it crashes almost instantly. 
and I can't figure out what the issue is. I have no clue, but there is some sort of issue. And I, I the only mod that I downloaded recently is the uh, the pre-made uh, like book clutter and shelf clutter and stuff like that uh the warp sh workshop decorations pack that's what it's called and i mean it didn't have any issues before i downloaded that mod but like i wouldn't think that that would be that big of an issue that it would cause crashes every single time i use place anywhere and it's not like i use place anywhere with that mod so i really have no idea why the mod just stopped working pretty much and these are the issues that i had previously and uh like when it before i started using place anywhere when people commented and said oh you you should use place anywhere i, I would tell people oh, i do but i just had issues with it and these are the issues like they just came right back as soon as i started getting used to using it it just, everything started crashing. I started losing the vi footage of uh, my builds. And so I would lose my builds. I would lose video fo uh, footage. And so I'd have to redo things. I had to redo this build three times. And I just, I don't want to deal with that. It's, it's frustrating. And yeah, Place Anywhere makes things super easy. I mean, it's unbelievable. But... I also don't feel like I should have to deal with like all the BS of having to build everything two or three times before I actually get a good video. So like this video I recorded in like like five minute intervals or whatever. Uh, you'll notice like jump cuts or whatever, but most of the videos I've recorded or most of this video was recorded in like short intervals and I just put it all together uh, I would just stop recording and then save my game and start recording again and I cut all that out so it seems like seamless but it, it's not uh, I had to stop like multiple times just to be certain that I didn't lose any footage and you'll notice that I use the pillar for almost everything from here on out and it's because I had just had the game crash trying to use place anywhere on these totems. And, I mean, it might be the items, but I've done builds since this, and they, I mean, the same thing. It could be anything that I'm trying to use it on, and the game crashes. Like, very seldom can I use this mod and it not crash my game or anything like that and I just I don't want to deal with it it sucks because it's a good mod it helps a lot with my builds but I just have to go back to how I used to build I guess which I mean it's not necessarily the worst thing because I feel like I do a lot of like really creative things whenever I have to use these mods and also whenever I do my final tour just by the way you'll notice some things change like there'll be some things will be a little bit different but it's not because uh, I had I, I redid it or anything it's because I I do change things whenever I see something I, I might think of something that I can change and so in the final tour you'll really see like what I had kind of intended for it to be even if this isn't it, it won't be anything huge but like it'll be uh, just a few little subtle changes, but um, we're I think we're pretty far away from that because uh, I still have a lot of followers to do houses for. Uh, also, you'll notice that this is on the as far as I really could without it looking weird because I wanted this to be on the far end of the the settlement, but. Uh, if I went any farther, it would be on a hill. And with the Diamond City Shack, there's kind of a uh, a dirt texture kind of built into the Diamond City Shack, uh, the dugout. And it's harder to build with it because of that. 
you can't really put it on hills because that kind of just looks like it's floating and it it just looks bad and so that's why I put it up a little bit farther was so that it was a little bit flatter of a surface but um, I tried to put Strong's house on the farther end of the settlement because I was gonna just like pretend that like the settlers don't like to go na like near his house down near it and uh, yeah just kind of an RP thing on my part uh, I really like doing role play builds uh, I think that they're probably the most fun things to build because you kind of uh, get to tell a story with the house and I like to do that with almost all of my builds uh, Sometimes things are uh, filler, and sometimes things uh, are a little bit heavy role play. But I think that I honestly prefer the heavy role play houses in comparison to just the filler buildings or whatever. And you'll notice that uh, in the next few builds, because I actually, by the end of this house, I'm actually really close to actually filling the settlement meter because I placed so many items just trying to make it like look a little bit better and uh, I think that it turns out great still but I'm going ahead and I'm just placing down spikes and random stuff to kind of make it look a little bit more uh, scrappy and junky and a little bit more scary like like a super mutant would actually live here and so I knew what I wanted to do kind of with the outside before I started building cuz what's the guy Erickson from uh, Far Harbor he sells super mutant uh, dogs or yeah super mutant hounds and so I wanted strong to have a super mutant dog because uh, I really like the idea that because I mean I have dog meat or I can have dog meat but I, I wanted him to have a super mutant hound and I wanted to not buy one but capture one with the cage so that's why I'm putting this down on this side because to use the cage, I need a generator, and then to keep it from just being hostile, I need a uh, beta wave emitter, I think it's called. And so I kind of wanted to pretend like they're being protected from uh, the rain and stuff, the generator and the beta wave emitter. But I didn't with the uh, the cage, the mutant hound cage. I kind of just placed that like out there in front of the house and I left it there because I, I just pretended that that was like a dog house for it you know and so that's all that's all I'm doing right here is I've got these uh, that switch and then the mutant hound cage and the finish tour will be coming up here in a second and whenever I get this placed in there but I'm thinking about doing a couple of mod reviews for you guys uh, over a couple of just like the mods I use also I plan on doing a uh, a video on all of the mods I use just to let you guys know which mods I have downloaded because it's not a, a ton but this is the finished build uh, I think that it actually looks pretty scrappy and uh, I think it fits You'll notice I used uh, a couple of things to kind of look like weapons of his. There's a little Easter egg on the wall there uh, with all the names of all the other mutants that, uh, not all of them, but some of the other ones from other games. Uh, and then... All of the it's it's mainly um, mutants from the other games that are friendly. They had like Fox and Uncle Leo from Fallout 3 and Lily and Tabitha and Marcus 
from Fallout New Vegas. But you can see this how this turned out with the beta wave emitter and stuff and uh the jail. I actually ended up uh already I've made that change is I've ended up deleting that uh both of those static mannequins cuz if you uh have used those before you'll notice that they break for some reason and they fall down even though it says they're static they don't stay static they they fall over and they break and then they sit there glitched out all broken it's really weird but yeah i really enjoyed building this and i've got a a lot more to do here and I'm really hoping that the frame rate holds up because I've got a lot to build but if you guys like this build make sure you let me know and make sure you guys check out some of my other builds and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one